I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps. I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that. I ain't gonna wait, that's all fat, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka that Reiner, and today we are back with more WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. So we're continuing the uh, mess known as trying to actually, you know, uh, I don't know, film a bunch of videos and call it a day on 2K22 filming anyway, which as soon as we're done filming all the episodes for Universe Mode, we're baking a cake or something. We need to celebrate because we're probably going to hit 130 episodes by the count of it. Because I did go back and I uh, remember that one part of um, the merger that we thought was going to be like you know, a half episode. I converted it into a full episode. So it's, she's a mess. So we're probably going to get right at, if not to 130 episodes, I think by the end of this mess. And that's not including the drafts or the one time we uploaded the intro or anything like that. But yeah, I figured I might as well get a little bit ahead of the game here and try to upload a, or, you know, try to get a video filmed and that sort of thing. Listen to the crowd. Listen to the people. Y'all, we better get this music back at some point. And his opponents, first, from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. I'm filming this right on the, six, on, on the 16th, so I'm putting it into the universe for all of us. Yeah, I don't know when this is going to get uploaded. I don't know when any of these videos are going to be uploaded. I'm hoping that it's like, wouldn't it be funny if this is like right on Elimination Chamber Day that I get this filmed and edited and uploaded and that sort of thing? That'd be great. That would be clutch. Because we're going to do Elimination Chamber reactions and that sort of thing, so... There is that. I mean, there's no need for a double upload day, so if this is posted on, like, Sunday or Monday or whenever we get this uploaded, this, this is just a lovely theme song. Again, we, we're filming ahead of time, so we get a break before we get to 2K23, okay? It doesn't mean we have to have everything edited, just that we have to have a lot of stuff filmed. So that way we can edit it and take a break from filming. Because half the motivation is just getting, you know, your head set on and everything else set up, you know? And I don't even have a complex setup. I, I really don't. It's literally just me, my computer, my capture card, my headset, and my couch. <laughs> That's literally it. It's not that deep. <laughs> but yeah, I think we just have the reaction on Saturday, so I'm hoping... Hoping this is up Sunday? Yeah, hoping this is up on Sunday. But that's also another reaction day. Well, poop. I gotta figure out when we're gonna upload this. I had a calendar all mapped out, but, you know. But the nice thing about it is that I have a long weekend this weekend. Now, I do have an appointment right on the 20th, which is President's Day, and I have President's Day off, so... I, this could very well be uploaded then, and then you're gonna be like, wait, you're uploading during the day, during the week? When that happens, it's usually a day off for me. Most of the time. Normally. Yeah. Yeah, I always try to keep it at 5 o'clock, you know, Eastern time, so I can reply to the comments and heart everything as quickly as I can. If I have a day off or if it's a weekend, I try to get stuff uploaded, like, during the afternoon. The SmackDown reactions, they take some time to get through. So that's why we've sort of just migrated that to Saturday. So that way I can just, you know, re refresh, recharge, get some sleep, sleep in, and that sort of thing. So, yeah. 
Here we go, y'all. Oh, by the way, this is for the number one contender spot for for the NXT Intercontinental Championship at Bash at the Beach. So whoever wins this matchup will take on our pal, our confidant, our bestie, MGK. God. What a mess, right? Y'all. Y'all. I just... This whole universe mode is not something else. It really has, but, you know, we're rolling with it. I think that's more than reasonable. But here we go, y'all. Here we go, here we go. Oh, man, my thing went into full screen mode. That explained why it kind of did, did a quick little hiccup right there. I, it, it's a whole thing. Basically, if the live stream, or not the live stream, the live feed that I watch on my computer basically, like, goes into live mode, it kind of slows things down a little bit. I can't explain why. It just does for a couple minutes, or at least a few seconds anyway, but yeah. I just like it as its little tiny entity. I have no shame in that. But here we go, kids. We've got Sami Zayn, Jordan Devlin, Sam Escobar. I think we're in for a good little match between whoever wins this matchup and our pal, our confidant, MJF. Not MJF. <laughs> Rock Show! MGK! Oh my god, could you imagine that match, though? <laughs> I'm putting it into the universe. I'm putting it into the stupid universe. Oh boy, I can tell that after this video we're going to stop for the night. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. <laughs> we should make that happen for SummerSlam, that'd be funny. Somebody please make that match happen in their universe mode. <laughs> or else I will. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh my god, that's great. That was a great little slip up right there. Oh my god, okay. This this is a sign that I'm just gonna stop filming after after we get through this episode. But we've got an exciting matchup on our hands. We got another we've got our final women's fatal four way matchup and we've got the last of our first four matches in the number one contenders tournament. So that's all fun and exciting. Santos Escobar seems to be clearing house right here, so that's exciting for him. Maybe Legado del Fantasma is finally gonna make that clean sweep that, you know, they've been trying to get to this entire time. Who knows what'll happen, but Santos Escobar going in for the cover, and Jordan Devlin kicks out. Of course, Jordan Devlin also spending part of his time in a faction, as did Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn was indeed part of the bloodline, which we haven't, we didn't really get to see him too, too much with, so we don't know if he's still with them or not, but here we are, kids. Here we are. So in this matchup, everybody was or is part of a faction at some point. I think that's reasonable. Right, right. Beautiful move right there from Jordan Devlin. Nice counter right there from Sami Zayn. Beautiful springboard right there from Zayn to Devlin right there. That is Zayn and Devlin. Devlin with the huge counter right there. Oh, Jordan Devlin, he might be looking for it here. Into the cover, could this be enough to put away Sami Zayn? Oh, that was a close one. Escobar barely would have made it back in there too, now that I'm thinking about it. And Escobar now. What a matchup that we're kicking things off with here. <laughs> I'm still laughing at that. I'm still laughing at that match prospect. Plot to a SummerSlam's a crossover event. A crossover we didn't need. The one that we didn't know that we needed until this point, right? Right. You know, we were trying to do f some sort of a crossover, but I'm thinking, like, what if we just do it in universe mode and we actually plan this out a little bit better? That'd be great. <laughs> like, for 2K23. Plus, we have more games, which would make things a little bit more interesting. What do you think? I'm down for crossover season at some point. That'd be awesome. 
And I gotta see what the GM mode mess has in store for us as well, and what universe mode has in store for us. So, as we're going through and filming all the My Rises, well, we're gonna be playing through off screen to kind of get a feel for it. So, there is that. It'll be an interesting time, I think. Wait, did we just get another weather alert? I'm filming this on the 16th of February just to give everyone a better idea as to what's going on. Huge move right there from Jordan Devlin, but Saints Escobar breaks things up. I could have sworn we saw a flood something. Oh, they extended the flood watch. Okay, that's fair. That is fair. Here we go, here we go, here we go! We're down to- Oh, Sammy, out of nowhere! God dang it, rope break! Good old rope break. Comes in the full gear right there. Goes in the full swing. The good old, good old rope break. Our best friend, our confidant. Santos Escobar now going in for the cover. Could this be enough to put away Sammy Zane? And Zane kicks at it too. What a match, y'all. What a match we are watching here. Holy crap. And again, we're cutting out the middle match entrances for the time being, just to kind of speed things up a little bit until we get to Bash of the Beach anyway. And then, like, for the specials, we'll at least, you know, include those then. Oh, Escobar with the ropes! But Jordan Devlin breaks things up right there. Oh! Sami Zayn trying to fight through. There we go. If I'm like, if I'm Sami Zayn, I'm going to let Jordan Devlin just do what he wants right now. Oh, God. And that wasn't just my yawn that I was saying that to. Just that move right there. Oh, boy. Huge counter right there for Sami Zayn. And Zayn now into the cover. Could this be enough to put away Jordan Devlin right here? And Sami Zayn! Sammy freaking Zane has done it, my dudes. We're getting Zane versus MGK. Oh my god. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. I'm excited. Could you imagine Sammy Zane being our Intercontinental Champion as we head into SummerSlam? I, I wouldn't be mad at that. I, I truly would not be mad at that. Just grab your snacks for that one, kids, because I, I know I am. But either way around, people, we've gotten. A, We've got a Fatal 4-Way to get to. I almost forgot about the Fatal 4-Way coming up. I'm like, oh god, where are we going next? We've got a huge Fatal 4-Way to come up after this matchup, so let's get to, let's get to. And here we go, everybody. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We are here for the big Fatal 4-Way matchup. Whoever wins this matchup will join Candice LeRae and Rhea Ripley at, uh... Oh gosh, at Bash at the Beach. I'm like, I've been talking about this show on and off now. Basically, we're going to have the number one contenders matchup for the Women's Championship match the following night on Bash at the Beach. So it's like a two-parter thing, two weeks of NXT, essentially, right? So there's that. So we'll determine the number one contender on the first night. Becky defends the title against whoever wins that matchup on the second night. We also have Sami Zayn versus MGK. We've also got... The Street Profits versus Legado del Fantasma. We've got Rey Mysterio going up against Shinsuke Nakamura. We'll have the finals of the number one contenders tournament. Carmella just went flying right there. Y'all just saw that, right? Carmella just went absolutely flying, y'all. Holy crap, dudes. I am tired. After this episode, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, we're, we're going to just take it easy. We're going to edit our videos and just, you know, not film anything. Struggle is real, but at least we got some stuff filmed, and that's what counts again. My hope is that I got everything filmed before the end of February so I could take a couple weeks off of filming before we jump into the 2K23 goodness that we're hopefully about to get. I'm a glass half full kind of person. I got a bunch of games coming out that week. I got a Sims expansion pack, and I got WB2K23. So, I mean, by that standard, I should probably at least get, you know, the deluxe edition and that sort of thing for 2K23. That's what I'm leaning towards right now, but I don't know. We'll have to see. We shall see. We shall definitely see. Here 
Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Oh, huge move right there. We got Dakota Kai, Mia Yim, Indy Hartwell, and Carmella in this Fatal 4-Way matchup again. Whoever wins this matchup will be facing off against Candice LeRae and Rhea Ripley. So, we're in for a good matchup no matter what, I think. It'd be even more interesting if Indy Hartwell won this match. So you have the way facing off against each other. I think that could get interesting. We got Mia Yim there going out with the back suplex on Carmella. Oh, boy. Oh, I didn't even know that Carmella got a talking taunt. I just realized this after how many episodes of Universe Mode. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Mia Yim with the counter right there. Oh, Indy Hartwell blocks. Huge super kick right there from Carmella to Dakota. Oh boy. What's going on right here? Got a counter from Mia Yim. Dakota Kai is just kind of in the background, kind of lurking. Oh boy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Mia Yim tossing Dakota Kai over the top rope right there. Huge counter right there from Indy to Mia. Into the corner, into the corner. There we go. Beautiful move right there from Mia Yim to Indy Hartwell, but Dakota Kai breaks things up right there. And we've got a huge main event to get to. Carmella with the huge super kick right there into the cover. And Mia Yim breaks things up. And Carmella gets tossed over the top rope right there. Seems reasonable to me. Seems reasonable to me. Mia Yim now on the offense right here. Carmella now trying to get back inside the ring. Mia Yim looking for it. Oh, but Dakota with the counter. Dakota Kai with the counter right there. Oh, she looks like she's trying to team up with Carmella. Carmella and Dakota with the huge double suplex right there. Carmella. Sneaky move right there into the DDT. Indy's stretching on the outside of the ring, but Dakota was able to get to the rope, so that's that's lovely. And Carmella now, what's she up to here? Oh boy. Huge strike right there. Dakota Kai with the kicks. Right to Carmella right there. Dakota Kai's got an opening here. Just got an opening. This might be it. Oh, that might be it, y'all. Oh, but she's really close to the ropes. Oh, but she's no longer close to the ropes, but Mia Yim is right there. Mia Yim now getting right in on the action here in this matchup. Over the top rope. Let's see what happens here. And Mia Yim with the kicks of her own huge boot right there to Indy. Everyone's just going right after Indy Hartwell in this match, I swear. Into the corner. Oh, but Carmella missed the kick. Oh, Dakota missed. Or Dakota ducked. Something, something like that, right? 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 A huge slap right there from Carmella into the super kick, into the super kick. Carmella might have an opening here. You got her away enough from the ropes. But Indy Hartwell is right behind her. And Indy breaks up the pin right there. And Carmella, Carmella's got an opening, y'all. 
Carmella's got an opening. Okay, well, she had an opening. She had an opening for a cup of coffee right there. Oh boy. What's what's Dakota doing here? I don't I don't like this, y'all. I don't like this. I do not like this at all. Oh my god, what a huge move from the top rope right there. Indy Hartwell breaking things up though. What a matchup that we are watching here, y'all. And everyone's still just beating the crap out of each other. And that's the energy that we're here for, y'all. That is exactly the energy that we're here for. Huge move right there from Dakota to Indy. Carmella's just beating up Mia Yim right here at this point. Oh, boy. What's happening here? Huge stomp right there. Oh, what's going on here? Dakota with the counter. Everyone's just countering every other move. Oh my god. This this match has been wild, y'all. This match has been truly wild, and we're here for that energy. And Dakota. Dakota. Huge neck snap right there. Mia Yim on to the corner, I think. Wait, what are we doing? Uh, we're, we're supposed to win this match on the inside of the ring, people. Dakota Kai's like ducking Mia Yim right here, and we're kind of here for that energy. On Dakota Kai, she might have something here. Dakota Kai connects. She's got an opening here, people. She's got an opening right here, y'all. Oh, and Mia Yim kicks out. Oh my god. Y'all, what an episode this has been with just two incredible matches to kick things off with. Oh, and everybody just kind of ran right into each other. Love that for us. Oh, and Carmella and Mia Yim are now kind of Teaming up there for a second, a quick temporary alliance. Yep, very quick temporary alliance. Carmella, do you not notice when Indy Hartwell is like right behind you? Beautiful side slam right there. Oh, and Indy kicked out. Truly, Carmella has been one of one of the unsung people of this women's division, just in general, I think. Mia, why doesn't Carmella check to see who's like right behind her in this match? You know, who's gonna try to break things up? You know, that sort of thing, right? Right. Mia Yim, she might have it here. Mia Yim! Oh, what a move. Into the cover, into the cover, into the cover. Oh, and Carmella kicked out. Who is going to win this match? Who's gonna win this match, y'all? Who's gonna really win this match? This match has been unreal. If it's anything like what we're going to probably get at uh, Bash at the Beach, then holy crap, y'all. Just holy crap. Huge kick right there from Dakota. Carmella now breaking things up here. Oh, boy. And Indy with the hair toss. Huge knee right to Carmella right there. Huge move right there. Carmella, what are you doing? Girl! Huge jawbreaker from Indy. Indy's trying to get back into this matchup somehow, some way. Dakota's being stupid and taunting again. Everybody's just being stupid at times in this match, I swear. Dakota with the kicks. Indy Hartwell now. She might be looking for something here. Huge move right there. From Indy Hartwell to Dakota Kai, but Mia Yim breaks things up here tonight. You can't blame Mia Yim for wanting to just clear out everybody except for, well... Okay, if everybody's starting to get stupid now, then at least everybody's going to be stupid kind of outside the ring, right? 
Am I following this? I think I'm following this. And we got Dakota and Carmella now inside the ring. Dakota's got the kicks. She's got another kick right there. Oh! That might be enough for Carmella right here. And Dakota Kai picks up a huge win. And a hard fought win at that. Oh my god, oh my god. People, our triple threat match for the number one contender spot at Bash at the Beach is going to be Candice LeRae, Rhea Ripley, and Dakota Kai. Nice little mixture of people, I think. But here we go, people. We've got a main event to get to, but look at that five stars, people, and a well-fought victory right there for Dakota Kai. A hard-earned victory. Let's get to the main event, shall we? I think so. All right, here we go, people. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I need to update my little... Uh, nope, I don't. I think we're all updated. Love that for me. People, whoever wins this matchup gets to face off against Drew McIntyre in the next episode. So we're going to be in for a treat no matter what happens. And that's perfect for all of us. See, look at us. We even got upgraded to the, you know, above, you know, right by the ramp and everything. Let's go to work, John. God, that is so bright. I'm so glad. Dude, I'm so happy John Cena's getting a new attire and everything, like, for the showcase and just in general. I've liked the green and everything, but, you know, and it's always good to freshen it up a little bit, right? I would think so, you know. Plus, Lord knows how many outfits John Cena's had over the years, you know, with all the different t-shirts and stuff. You know, the dude keeps things marketable, keeping things fresh with the shirts. And isn't that kind of the point? Sometimes you want to make sure that things are kind of marketable. Right? Right? Branding. Bright colors. I'm excited for the showcase mode, y'all. I'm, I'm just excited, okay? I'm excited for 2K23! I know, weird jump cut ahead, but here we are. Oh my god, why is Seamus so much brighter here? Jesus, take the wheel! The lighting! The lighting was ridiculous! Poor Seamus. Well, now that Seamus is back on his own, can he have better luck than Jordan Devlin from earlier tonight? We don't know, but we're going to have to find out. I don't need... You know what? I, it's really bizarre because it's like... Technically, Jordan Devlin and Seamus never really broke things up, but Seamus is off on his quest to get the NXT Championship. He's had a couple attempts already, but he's never held the gold. He's had a nice little feud with Finn Balor over time, though, so there's that. And, of course, with the bar featuring, of course, Cesaro, and, of course, we also had Jordan Devlin join in the mix, and we had a nice little faction right there, I think. All right, everyone, here we go. My apologies if we had a weird jump cut or anything weird happened just now. Uh, my recording froze. <laughs> my little recording device just froze, so... We had to restart the match, and it was getting good, and just, oh, it's fine. But at least we got it all sorted out, and again, I'm done filming after this match, so I think we're all fine, right? Right. And here we go, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. And John Cena's on the offense right here, right away, but it looks like his arms aren't doing too great. I don't know. It doesn't look like so. It doesn't look like it is, anyway. And Seamus now. Huge maneuver, huge maneuver. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay. Seamus is right on the offense right here. Again, my apologies if I'm kind of just like spaced out a little bit. Again, I'm a little on the sleepy side. I kind of overslept last night, which, you know, it, it happens, I think, right? Right. Oh, beautiful. That, that deserves a round of applause. 
Great job, Seamus. Great job. <laughs> but yeah, whoever wins this matchup will take on either... Oh, what is this? Oh, Finn's coming down. Who... Who's he going after? What? Oh, he's going after John Cena, possibly? Why is he trying to help out Seamus? <gasps> Why is Finn Balor helping out Seamus? Why is Finn helping out Seamus? Is it just because he just doesn't like John Cena more? Or what? Look, Finn doesn't like anybody on this roster, okay? Let's make, let's make that clear. He doesn't like anybody. Oh, snap, and then, well, that, he just went barreling right into um, Seamus right there, so that, that gives us our answer. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I wonder what message this is sending to John Cena right here, and maybe even Seamus. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I really don't. Part of me low-key hopes that Seamus wins this thing just for the sake of, like, it's it's Seamus and he's never won a title on Universe Mode, which is kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of incredible when you think about it. Or at least not the NXT title. But look at that, look at that. We got John Cena back on the offense right here. Things aren't looking too good here for Seamus right now. Oh boy. Oh, what a counter right there from Seamus. Huge maneuver right there. Oh, huge arm stomp right there. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Huge running slam right there from Seamus. Will the fella eventually get the NXT title? We're not sure yet. Oh, but Cena ducked out of the way. Oh boy. It's nerve wracking, y'all. It's a nail biter. It's going to be coming down to the final final sequence, right? It's one of those matches. It could go either way. But now that Finn Balor's out here, this makes things even more interesting. We're not so sure on Finn Balor's intentions in this whole ordeal or not, but Seamus connects with a huge move right there into the cover, but he's always oh, right by the ropes! He's got the ropes, he's got the ropes, he's got the ropes! <gasps> Seamus just beat John Cena right there with his feet on the ropes and with some help from Finn Balor. Even though Seamus barreled right into Finn. Y'all! What a, what a turn of events, everyone. What a turn of events. The former rivals are now standing side by side with each other. But what does Finn have to do with John Cena? Why did he go after John Cena? Why is he teaming up with Sheamus? I don't know. But there's your final frame, people. It will be Sheamus versus Drew McIntyre, so grab your snacks for that one, kids. Because, oh boy, we're in for quite an episode next time. Because we've got two semifinals matches of the tournament. We've got Kevin Owens versus RVD. And now we've got Sheamus versus Drew McIntyre in the other one. We've got two stacked matches. And we've got more action coming up at, you know, coming your way and that sort of thing. So, on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button to get notifications around here and that sort of thing. So, again, thank you all so much for tuning in. And I will see you all in the next one.